welcome back guys. I'm your host, Keyblade Kyrie 2010. We are continuing on with Final Fantasy 15. Uh, this game is rated T for teen, so I think you guys should be okay. So last time we left off, it's it's been a long actual while before I actually started recording stuff because I thought things were gonna get done um, way smoother with the way things have been going and I kind of put the game a little bit on hold for my recording stuff. Like, again, you guys are getting these videos. Uh, some of these videos are, like, recorded way in advance. So keep that in mind. Um, on my watch, it's April 10th uh, right now. So by the time you get this video, it'll probably be already past April or maybe about halfway through April. One of the two. Don't know. But anyways... To tell you some information that recently happened, I recently got uh, my cord for my Wi-Fi, which is awesome. Thanks to my wonderful friends for doing that. I also found out about episode Arden. I have no clue where the heck is that, that, that DLC is supposed to go for this whatsoever. Um, it might have to wait until after Kingsglaive. Um, it might be at the beginning that I upload it. Um, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Um, and then in the last episode, I was, like, low on, massively low on cash. So we decided, uh, Let's to go. actually go hunting for a little bit there. I think I, I have plenty of cash now, don't I? Uh, oh yeah, I'm good on cash for a little bit. But anyways... So I don't know where the hell I'm going to put episode art in. Um, we'll, we'll see when I actually get episode art in. I might actually upgrade my stuff to Royal Edition because of the fact that it's only like $14.99. So we'll see. My friend's thinking about getting it for uh, me as a birthday gift because it's one of the things that I wanted. Um, instead of just getting episode art in, might as well just spend a little bit more money and get the royal edition so uh but yeah i have no clue where episode arden is supposed to go i have not played it and i refuse to look up any information on it you reckon arnea has a boyfriend she is surrounded by guys but who knows why you fancy her no <laughs> my interest is purely hypothetical Pronto, make up your mind. You're either interested in Sydney or Arnea. Make up your mind. You, you just can't seem to pick who you are interested in. Like, seriously. Anyway, you are such a playboy. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So, I'll be, uh, going back to my regular upload schedule as of, uh, April 10th. Obviously, like I said, you guys will be getting this video, like, way later. Um because I record ahead of time. Like, massively, I started doing recordings way ahead of time, because I just decided ah, that's gonna be easy. breeze feels good. Indeed. What breeze, but I guess. Um, no, nope, not what I wanted. Wrong button. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice that's ride not with what you. I wanted. I can hit the wrong button. I, I need to. There we go. I need to get used to the buttons again. Um, but yeah, I did a bunch of. Uh, Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? So, but yeah, I got um, I got some money for golden. Level nine. That's awesome. But uh, so, <laughs> I did some massive. Uh, getting money and stuff because we absolutely needed it for gas and stuff like that so yeah I did that welcome I don't know how much I made since, since the last episode because it's been like you're a ages. godsend yeah. yeah probably not a whole lot but anyways we're going to be some refreshments no I'm good dude thanks though we're gonna be moving Scary on to, to the... the... With all that muscle, Behemoth meat's gotta have a good texture. Can't say I've ever eaten it before, though. Usually the Behemoth's the one doing the eating. I just hope we're not next on the menu. 
Those tipsters know everything. You ask them a question, they always got the answer. Their knowledge is impressive, as is the freedom with which they share it with others. Let's move before someone else in the know beats us to the punch. All right, so um, I believe we're going to continue on with the story from here because we did a lot of side quest stuff in the last episode. I kind of had no choice, like I said. <laughs> Low on funds. So there will be a point in time in the story that we'll just have to keep going until... Uh, and, oh yeah, that's right, I changed my car too. To look more royal. Uh, automatic, where are we going? No, quests. Uh, what's, what's... Wait, what? Oh yeah, by the way, they're adding new quests like every... So, oh yeah, he wants the... Stupid cup noodle crap. Uh, there's so many missions I have yet to do. Most of these I'll probably end up doing off screen because, like I said, I don't want to... Sure, let's fast travel. Whatever. We got the money for it. Um, some of these I'll probably be doing entirely off camera because of the fact that some of these take quite a while to actually like finish like massively finish so uh like i said wish i can do all the mini missions but it'll take me ages to do so um but yeah uh there's been stuff that's been added recently to the game uh, apparently some voice acting or something like that. I don't know. Um, but it's one of the downloads. So, and then there's some more side really missions, too. Really looking forward to hear his cooking. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aw, oh, don't be that way. Holy cow, two loading screens. Good gravy. Oh, wow, it's already nighttime. Huh. Um, so, yeah. On our way to our next little mission, I'm pretty sure this one's gonna send me out to uh, to get another royal arms. Uh, how many more are there? I can't really absolutely remember how many royal arms there are. I should actually look that up after this episode uh, to Is actually. Is it evening already? Yep. Time flies when you're having fun. Yep. Lights um, on, guys. All right. But yeah. I need to figure that out massively um, because I would like to get all the royal arms before we um, finish the game, you know? So there are going to be two pieces that are going to be branched off. So one of them is going to be with Noctis. The other is going to be with uh, Ignis and Gladios. Um, so we'll be playing both segments uh, just so that way you can see what would happen in some cases, so. I'm one of those ones that likes to explore, just like with all the other endings and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure this is us going to the royal city. Pretty sure this is us going to the royal city. And this one is gonna be, again, I don't know why jump is still the same main button. Hi, kitty cat. Huh? Hey. You're the cat we saw in Galden. Meow. Oh, your paws sure brought you a long way from home, little guy. You must be hungry after all that walking. Meow. No restaurants around, though. I wonder if anyone around here knows a thing or two about cat food. Why don't you try asking Monica? She mentioned having kept several cats back home. Wow, and she never gave off a crazy cat lady vibe. I hope we don't have to go all the way back to Galden. Especially after the cat came all the way to Kayam. What drew him here, anyway? His dear friend knocked, of course. <laughs> uh, can I do that quest real quick before I go? Because I, I, this, this, this cat is, like, dear to my heart right now. <laughs> can I do that quest before I go? Please. Please. Let's see here. Him and his cup noodles. Yeah. Where are we going? Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh... How far is she? God, I hope that's not too far. Oh yeah, she's only a few feet. Okay. Cause I was like, I really don't want to go like super far. To actually like find her, you know? 
Oh yeah, she's in the house. Um, but yeah, I think uh, from here on out we're gonna be doing mostly the main mission stuff uh, until until we get back. Yeah, cause also as well we're gonna be um, doing um, Ignis's mission here soon too. So. May I help you with something, Prince Noctis? I was hoping you could fix some food for me. Gladly, although I should warn you, our pantry is primarily stocked with vegetables right now. Oh, not for me. For a cat. Forgive my misunderstanding. I can prepare something, provided I have the ingredients, but I'm afraid we're all out at the moment. If you need fish, I can go catch one. I would be most appreciative. I'm loath to admit, fishing has never come very naturally to me. <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm a pro. Fortunate indeed. Should the tide prove too troublesome, you might also stop by the stand. I recall seeing some cat food on sale. Uh, I think I actually got the fish. Do I, can I just can I just give it to you? No. Where am I going? Am I going to go back and feed the cat? No, I'm going to go get cat food. That's what I'm going to go get. <laughs> Oh, you're so dear to my heart. I can't Let's say have no. some light. Sounds good. Oh wait, where are you sending? Okay, let's, let's. Where are you sending me to now? Are you sending me back to the cat? Cause I'm, I don't know. Oh. Ooh, where am I going? I don't know where you're sending me. Are you sending me? To you're sending me to go fishing. I don't want to go fishing. I don't want to go fishing. Nope, you know what we're gonna go do? We're gonna go down the mountain and we're gonna actually get, uh, wait, am I going up the mountain? I'm going up the mountain, aren't I? I don't know where I'm going, it's too dark out here. Where's the car? There's the car. Okay, we need to go this way to, to get to the car, which actually will be easier for me. We're gonna feed this cat before I get on this darn boat of this, blah. Actually, I might go to sleep because it's like massively dark out and I don't really want to actually travel at night. I might get massively lost in the city, just so you know. So we might spend several days uh, in, the, in the city. Hello there. Let's just buy some cat food. Oh, really? It's that expensive? <laughs> Are you for real? It's that much? Screw it. What are we selling here? Uh, I don't want to sell too much. You know what? We're just, we're just going to do it. Thank you! You're welcome! Not like I need it anyways. Hopefully it's not important. Okay, I think we have enough. Do I have enough to actually buy it? No, I don't. Oh, I got quite a bit of ways to go. Uh... Everybody's gonna hate me if I don't feed this damn cat. I swear. Here, take this. Is that enough? Everybody's gonna be so mad if I don't. No, it's not. Everybody's gonna be super pissed at me if I don't know. I don't wanna sell that. Like, I'm serious. Everybody's gonna be just be all like, uh, we're no longer friends with you, Kyrie. We're unsubscribing because of the fact that you did not feed this damn cat. I could just go fishing, but I don't wanna go fishing in the dark. And at the same time, I don't wanna go fishing at all. So we're just gonna do this. Pock or Noctis's pockets are like, wow. Like, seriously. We're almost there. I don't care. I don't care. I sell it. God, I hope this cat is very thankful and gracious to me after all this. I bet everybody's also going to be screaming at the screen like, Why are you selling this stuff? No! What are you doing? I mean, it's it's really not that big of a deal. Like, I can go back through the game and get all this stuff again. It's it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. Halfway there. Whoa! Leave it on a pair. No, oh, wait. I got. No, let's do. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. All four. All four. All one. Freaking hell, this cat is expensive. I'm gonna be mad if I don't have enough. I'm not gonna have enough. I think I already succeeded my limit. Can I not buy this stupid? There, I, okay, so I already passed it already. Here you go. First. Thank you! Until <laughs> next time! We just that can sure put us back. We'll be eating tinned food too. We'll be eating tinned food too. Okay, so I need to go back up here. I'm not fishing for this this lovely cat. I was gonna say stupid cat. Everybody's gonna hurt me now. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, so this episode is all about this cat thing. Like, seriously, this is this is actually kind of funny. Okay, so let's feed the darn cat, go to sleep, and then wake up, and then actually, uh, you know, get the heck on the boat. And head to the city, where we can actually get uh, some stuff done. And we'll be stuck on this path for a little bit to, until, uh, I think to a certain point, then you'll be able to go back. But I don't remember when or how far. It's already daytime, it looks like. Or it's about to be daytime, I think. Here. You better save her every last morsel, buddy. That cat food there cost us a fortune. <laughs> you really got a soft spot for animals, don't you? They bring out a nice unknocked. Could try being nicer to us. Could, but I won't. <laughs> okay, now. Off to bed we go. And then... I swear, if nobody, it, like, if I didn't feed that cat, everybody was just gonna be mad at me. And I'm pretty sure all that stuff that I just sold, everybody's gonna be definitely mad at me too. But who cares? My game, I play how I wanna play. <laughs> Okay, nap time. Freaking cat food. Why is, like, even in the real world, cat food is not that expensive. Good gravy. Okay, where's the sleeping quarters at? Is this over here? Is it over here? Yes, it's over here. <laughs> Excuse me. Could no, it's crash right here. Ditto. <sighs> yeah, I don't know um, how many royal arms there are. I know you do not have to have them all in order for uh, you to actually... Uh, <laughs> um, to actually pass the game. Oh, yay! You got a good one. Your eyes are kind of freaky though look at you yeah i know why I you like gotta be that. so photogenic i like that that's cool that's a good picture of you gladios hey this one's pretty good <laughs> i know i dig it too what is with your eyes prankto like seriously they're kind of concerning that's awesome hmm it's pretty late. Okay. Alright, moving on. 
Um, I don't know if I'll play all of the other episode of, uh, it's the one where pretty much, um, where you can create your own Kingsglaive character. Um, it's a multiplayer universe. It's not necessarily a multiplayer universe. You can actually fight with AI as well. Um, but that one, as I sat down and looked at it, of how big it is, this, this would take me quite a, oh, hi. Let's get a shot with the lighthouse. Hair blowing in the breeze will be seaside supermodels. Sure, sure. Just for you, baby. <laughs> seaside supermodels it is, then. Oh, yeah! Seaside supermodels! <laughs> just for you, babe. Just just for you, my, my prank, though. My little babe. My little cutie pie. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. <laughs> Happy now, my little cupcake. You are such a Ready or not. cinnamon roll. Such a cute little cinnamon roll. Oh, that's a good one. I like it. Yeah. We ought to hold on to this one. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Anything for my prank, though. I think from here on out, we'll be getting closer to uh, mostly doing story stuff. Whoa. Nith make this time? Is there nothing you lot won't pick up? Anywho, show me the parts and I'll show you serious firepower. Yeah, I know. You and your questing stuff. All right. Here we go. Do, do, um... Yes. Okay. Oh, look. Hi, buddy. Good to see you again. It's cute, but at the same time, I'm like, don't they have cell phones? Alright, let's go get lost in the city, guys. <laughs> Doctors, even the marshal came to say goodbye. Oh. Yeah, even the marshal came to say goodbye because he's supposed to be protecting the king as as well. But I guess I heard the regalia is going on the boat with you. Yeah, the city's gonna be busy. I guess it's goodbye for now. Yep. Oh, another uh side story again. And my soda's empty. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. <sighs> I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. 
It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. Mm-hmm. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. If I knew how to craft. Because it's a crappy way to craft things. Can we get on the boat? Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board! Alright, here we go. Hey! Your Majesty! What's up? Please! Come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah! Count on it! Sorry, I'm eating pizza. I got hungry. <laughs> What leveled up? Something leveled up. <laughs> wow. Talk about bright. Oh, that's a good one. Like I said, I don't understand why, why you can't just go with us and protect this king, this future king, but I guess, whatever. <sighs> There's gonna be a lot of talking in this one. But, once you get through this part, it's going to be a little bit uh, less, uh, it's going to be more story now from here on out. Uh, not necessarily. But I will be doing some leveling up on, um, in the background and I might go get some of the other royal arms. I don't know. You don't necessarily need them all. But I do need some leveling up uh, before I continue doing anything else. Here in a bit, we will be definitely doing um, the side story of uh, Ignis because uh, we need to know some stuff, you know? The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead, the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary standing in the way while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. 
We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion, but in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing His Majesty's sword. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. <laughs> for all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They failed a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. And they'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Hm. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. And the Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I, I was long gone from the city. Must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of a trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. 
Yeah, only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are a first order of business. All work and no play? Makes sickness a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Westcombe ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. And does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. If you skip this whole entire segment, you lose, like, quite a bit of information. Just so you know, it's a pain, but it's information that has to be heard. <laughs> but you can skip it if you want. But we talked about the ring. We talked about... Uh, Luna Freya's brother's arm, and we talked about how he has uh, his dad's, uh, Noctis's dad's uh, sword. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. From here on out, it's smooth sailing of, uh... Getting, uh, stuff done at this point. Don't know if the sound glitched there, but all right, all right. Now we get to run around in this. What's mess. next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more. Mm. Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose? Uh. Uh. Uh, leave it to Sid. Sid, it's all yours. Hey, didn't we just... <sighs> well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga. Mag Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program. Hmm? Huh? In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. Mm, this amount should suffice. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. <laughs> Good thing I had enough money. Okay. Wow. 
You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Yeah, yeah, we gotta look for Mago. Oh my god. The Sid wasn't kidding, it is big. <laughs> Crowded too. You can get easily lost in this map. Like, seriously, this map is freaking huge. Okay, so we need to take... We need to take this boat to go down to here. Hopefully Shop with the newest the updates. <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. Sure, we'll go. What should I buy? We'll, 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 go, we'll go see the wedding dress. We only have three minutes left anyways. Oh, man. We only have three minutes left. And it's not like you can actually do any What's hunting wrong, here. So... That's the frustrating part. Uh, I'm so glad that Lady Lun is safe. I, I, I could cry. Yeah, man. Me. Me too. I could cry. I could cry too. Let's see here. That acting though. Um. Where is the? That's the main one. I want. I want. Yes, that one. Uh, this might give me a bit of a headache. Uh, we'll see. Shop God, till you this drop. place is so freaking huge. Because I'm sure everybody it, it wants to see the wedding dress. Everybody wants to see the wedding dress. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. No, no, baby, not right now. Oh, hold on a sec. I was hoping to get a picture or two around here. That's fine, but not right now. <laughs> let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. No, no, not right now. <sighs> fine. I love you, babe. I love you too this much. This way to the dress? Yep, same street as the estate. Seems we're on the right track. That's great, but now we want... Prankto wants a photo, so give me a sec. <laughs> His arm's so cool. I mean, not like I actually want one of my own or anything. No, dude. I totally feel the same way. They say that thing's got, like, superpowers. The Empire makes some sick stuff. Okay. Gondola! Care for a ride? Not right now. You want a darn picture here. Take a here. shot from here. Good call. Now <laughs> it's <photo>. picture time. <laughs> I love you, sugar. Prunkto, you're special. Let me get this shot. You get a good one. Yay! That's actually a good one. I like that one. Oh! Love the lighting! Yeah. Okay, now. Back to finding the dress. Someone needs to go back home or back to their hotel. And Did you see that, knocked? What is it? I don't really want to look at it. So, okay. Here we go. On our way to find this dress. Where is my map at? Really? There's no marking of the darn thing? Are you for real? Oh, I'm gonna be mad. Uh, okay, so we just listen to the people talk, maybe? Uh, I can get so backwards around here. Uh, this way, right? We're going the right way, right? They spared no expense on the dress. Yep. I'm glad I caught it when I did. If the print... <laughs> the people have spoken. Good to know the prince isn't completely forgotten. Uh, there it is! Found it! What Yay. a hell of a crowd! And that's the dress. My word. 
Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah. I'll think about it. This dress can rival Yuna's dress. Yuna from Final Shots Fantasy X. So that, that dress could definitely rival Yuna's. So, all right. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for all your support. If you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Feel free to check out my other playlist. I do more than just video games, guys. Don't forget to hit that not notification bell so that way you do not miss out on any of the uploads to the channel. So, Keyblade, Carried Stealth 10 signing out. Game on gamers, cosplay and cosplayers. Bye.